hello fam welcome to the channel well it's been a long time i posted on the channel today's video we are going to be talking about an upgrade error that i faced when i was um upgrading from ubuntu 22.10 to ubuntu 23.04 but during the upgrade where i use the software updater it got to a point where it told me there was an issue doing the upgrade and so it's going to revert to the previous um, version that was there that's the 22.10 and so during the restart process it couldn't show the GUI it just had to end at this place where it says the kernel panicked and so it's not syncing unable to mount root FS on unknown block during the restart process you should get your grab menu that will appear you have the second option which says advanced options for ubuntu we select that option and then under it we are going to have different kernel versions you have the immediate one that isn't um being located or isn't being um accessed by the ubuntu operating system and then you have previous ones as well so what you need to do is to take note of the version number of the first one which is the one that we are um, finding issues with and then we select the recovery mode of a previous um kernel version once we have the recovery mode loaded you get this um screen with different options we are going to select the root option and once that's selected you should see at the bottom you are given a terminal to be able to work with and so once we have the terminal loaded with root privileges we need to input this um, line of code into the terminal when you have version written you need to replace it with the kernel version number that you took note of once this has been done you press enter and wait for it to update the kernel version for you Well, after that is done, you need to upgrade the grab loader as well. And then you are good to go. We can then exit and then reboot the PC. The PC has been able to reboot and then you can see it has loaded successfully. But you realize that some of the apps and then the file icons got corrupted during the upgrade. So let's fix that before we go. So I tried opening the terminal for us to do the update process from there. Every time I open it, it doesn't open. I think it's also corrupted from the upgrade. And so what I had to do was to open um, an app called Visual Studio Code, which has its own terminal. And then I was able to upgrade the process from there. So let's go through that. Alright, so once it's done updating, we can then open the software updater to continue from there. After the software updater is done, we can restart and everything should be fixed. Alright friends, thank you for watching this video and let's meet in the next one.